Hey guys, it's Kelly and welcome back to my channel. We are here at the New York Auto Show and check out what's behind me. The Toyota Land Cruiser is back. After a two year break, she is back and she is looking totally different. This thing starts at around $55,000 and we have improved technology, better off-roading capabilities and a whole new look. If it's your first time joining me, hey, I'm Kelly and I'm the car mom. I review cars for moms and for families. I'm a mom of three with number four on the way and I'm a certified child passenger safety tech. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Guys, the Toyota Land Cruiser came to the United States in the 50s, okay? And this new one is giving its retro vibes back. Look at just these like headlamps in this boxier style. It is just kind of going back to its heritage. But I want to be clear, this is like not being advertised as a family vehicle in the slightest. This is an off-roading weekender machine. So we're going to kind of still do the car mom thing. We're going to talk about the car seat setup just in case you want to take your kids off-roading. But I'm just like not expecting like it to be the family hauler that maybe it used to be advertised as because this new one, they dropped the third row. It's a little bit smaller than the old one and they are focusing on the off-roading. Okay, here's a shot of me in the driver's seat of the new Land Cruiser and here's what I'm feeling. Like, it's definitely still very utilitarian and rugged, but it definitely feels more updated. I wish I could turn the screen on, but I'm very excited to see a digital dash and a fully integrated screen you know, Toyota's big on buttons, big on physical buttons, and I kind of like that they're sticking to it and keeping all of those. We have two great cup holders, and then, you know, a kind of small center console. Sorry, I know it's so dark in here. I don't know why they like only bring dark interior cars to auto shows and then expect us to like get good content in them. Um, we do have cloth seats in this trim level of the Land Cruiser. It's kind of a nice textured cloth. I don't know, I like leather, and that's just me. Okay, so here we are in the second row, and this is basically we're gonna wrap up our tour because there's no third row and the trunk is power and we can't, this car is completely dead. So we're gonna to have to make do. But we have a bench seat right here. It's a pretty narrow bench. It's very similar to Toyota's other benches like this. I'm gonna give it a no-go on a three across situation. Just, it's a little small. There's a little bit of weird seatbelt overlap happening there. It's just not for me. Um, but we have some interesting amenities back here for this being just like a regular five passenger off-roading car and that is ceiling vents. Okay, ventilation, we see you. As far as my second row comfort's concerned, decent knee clearance. I mean, it's not its not that big of a car, but it just kind of stands on a taller platform. I have really good head clearance, obviously. But for the most part, I'm pretty comfortable. I have my own climate control on the back of the center console right there with some additional charging. And then let's see if we can just kind of get a shot of the trunk space because it's really big. And what's interesting is the new GX does offer the third row but the Land Cruiser does not. So what that means is you're getting, I mean, really, truly incredible trunk space. Okay, this is hilarious, you guys. So there's no third row available in the Land Cruiser, but I guess because it shares a platform with the GX, they have all of the third row amenities back there with just no seats, starting with third row access. And don't even tell me this is to access into the trunk. No other five passenger car would do this. And in the third row, we have four cup holders, two chargings, ceiling vents, and even grab handles but no seats back there. I guess was it just easier for Toyota to just use the GX platform and not remove those amenities? Because I guess so your dog is gonna be living large back there. So that's going to wrap up the tour of this 2024 Land Cruiser. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this off-roading vehicle and do you think those third row amenities are a hint that a third row is coming or just an easy way to not have to redo the platform? 